My name is Leanne Skinner. I'm also known as the Stamping Tornado. I'm a fun Stamper's Journey coach, and I would love to share my span on paper crafting with you. And I'm hoping I'll blow you away with some of my ideas. Okay, to get started here, this is the card we're gonna be doing. I think it is adorable. And I love the new stamp set Fun Stamper's Journey came out with. It's called Stick Around, and it's got these cute little frogs and some really cute sayings. And this would go for anybody. You could do this for kids or adults. So I think it's a great card. I made this with our Denim Days cardstock, and I just simply saturated it in water. Uh, before I get started here, I do want to show you that if you go to my blog, the stampingtornado.com, I've got this pattern that you're welcome to take and use and make your own. So we'll get started here. I just brought a bowl of water and I've already had this. I You just crumple up your cardstock, put it in water. And crunch it up and then set this out to dry it's that simple and it's so fun so once you let it dry you're going to have your pieces that you used your pattern for and you've cut them out and you're going to take your pieces and with our pan pastels, this is the white pan pastels. You're going to take your sponge and you're just going to run this over. And it doesn't make any difference how much you put on there. It depends on if you want it to really look stone washed or not. If you don't like as much, then go ahead and take your fingers and, and rub some of it off. But that's as simple as it is. Uh, just crumpling it up, letting it dry, and then taking your pan pastels and going over the top. Now, we have gel pens, and I went and made all the stitching marks with our gel pens, and they are so nice. So, that is your next step. Now, we're going to assemble. with our journey glue. And if it's really wrinkled up, you can relax it a little bit and it will relax. If you just kinda play with it a little bit, it'll relax. But I have a waistband. We're going to put the waistband on. And I love the wet glue for this because I think it, it holds really good. Now this piece back here, we're just going to put it behind. Actually, we, yeah, let's do that. We just want to put it around the edges because we're going to put our pocket in. You could go across the top too. Now for the buttons, I just took two punches, one for, um, oops, one was three quarters of an inch and the other one was a half an inch. And I just used dimensionals on that. Now, I stamped our frog and black licorice onto white cardstock and he looked like this 
and I colored him with color burst pencils. I used 16, 21, and 23, and I used the black. So I cut him out, and how about that? I have him cut out. And we're gonna slide him in. And to make the base card, I used oatmeal cookie. And the way I made this, we have a brand new pan pastel, and I love it. It is, oh, it's beautiful. I took this, and I also did this for the, the button. I just took the pan pastel, and going over the oatmeal cookie, it looks so rich and so pretty, and it's so effortless. Now, the sentiment right here, I actually took a two inch by one half inch and I actually covered it with with the pan pastels as well and then I stamped the sentiment over the top of it so but I thought I tried doing this on white and it just didn't give me the effect that I wanted because when I was creating the button I wanted it to look more like a copper button and I thought I I thought it turned out pretty good. So, so you want to stamp your sentiment onto your paper. Who wouldn't like to have a frog in their pocket that's always with you whenever you need somebody? right <laughs> so and that's your card so that's it if you'd like to read the instructions and all of the measurements i will have that on my blog and i would be happy to share it with you thank you so much for stopping in and i hope you stop in again thank you